Hello everybody, this is Xenocat823543, welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. And in this part, because Dumban's in the lead, I figured, we should go get one quest out of the way. It's not in Frontier Village, we'll come back to Frontier Village soon though. But we should go get this one quest out of the way, because it's just kind of important to get it out of the way. Just, I want to get it done. It's also rather important to do. It's a very good quest to have done early on, relatively early. It's I don't need it done now, but I'd like to do it pretty soon. Like sooner rather than later. Just because it's useful. Uh, let's see, where is he? He's out now, I'm pretty sure. And it is the last quest that we're going to have to do on the Fallen Arm. So it's strange. We, this quest, this area is the last area we reach, but it's the first area we're going to finish. Or Katix has something specific to Dumban. Hmm. Yeah, you have to have Dumban in the lead for this. is complaining because he can't grow. Yeah. Stop feeling so Gunman's like, stop feeling sorry for yourself and Orchidix needs to get stuff. Shulk is the engineer and we're going to collect it. So what do we need to find? A transmission bypass, an exhaust pump, and a mini-reactor. All these are key items. But we don't need to search. We get an agility up 5 for this. I already have enough of those, so not useful. Haste 4, I'm a big fan of though. Also, lots of golden experience, because this requires that you finish the thing. And we have th each of these is a separate quest. We have to find the offensive strike unit, the offensive hover unit, and the M experimental M86. I'm gonna do these out of order, probably. But these are basically all over the Fallen Arm. It's the last Fallen Arm quest, I mean. Where else would they be? Also, these are high leveled. As you can see, this is a level 75 enemy. I think we can win though. Let's be careful and not topple him. Or yes, topple. Good thing I can topple. Or not. Why this guy have a counter spike? Melia, can you use your force topple, please? Please. Melia. Use your force topple. Melia, you're failing. Time to change my party because you have to topple this guy or you purge. I hate this about spikes. You basically ha can't fight an enemy without dealing with the spike, and I hate that. I wouldn't think it was so bad, but you have to. E you have to use Mel. It just controls your party way too much. I think. And there's no way to counteract spikes, because Dumbman has a skill that reduces spike damage. But it costs so many skill affinity coins to link. Like it costs, it's like 40 something, which is ridiculous. I'm not gonna do that. That's way too expensive. So now I have to rely on... Using force topples. 
Also, this is a mech on. So maybe... Keep dodging here, uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing stuff because so I'm standing out of range. We don't have healing, but I only take a little bit of damage. Come on, keep him down. Good job, Fiora. Keep dodging. I'm gonna keep just help attacking him from the shot from like over here. And then taking a little bit of damage to that. Yeah, this is a long boring fight because I have to attack him from the distance. Stay focused. Stay focused. I have to pull back. I don't have enough HP to attack him to try to topple him now. So this isn't good. Oh, that's powerful. Get out of the way. Oh no, don't you dare hit me. I'm the important one. Dumban, revive someone. Please. Dumban, get over here. Immediately. And the battle just ends? This is ridiculous. You can't do this. I'm just... What the heck? How did they expect you to deal with this guy without using Shulk and spamming Purge? Because I refuse to do that. I refuse to resort to that. So that won't help. Dumban, yes, thank you for extending the topple. You need to do that more often. But I'm out of range. I'm just casually standing out of range. No, Melia, don't attack. Bring Fiora back. And run away. Stop getting hit, Melia. This is just ridiculous. I can't do this without Shulk. This is literally impossible without Shulk. It's not being, me being over leveled or leveled or anything. It's just you can't do this fight without Shulk. And I don't want to use Shulk because Shulk is... <sighs> Fine, I'll use Shulk. I'll resort to using Shulk. With the only two people he needs affinity with. Because he doesn't need affinity with anyone else. Except for Yora, but... I'm gonna use gifting on Fiora. Because there's an achievement for it. For that. Everyone, let's go! And then I have to start off taking some damage. I mean, I guess I wouldn't have too much of a problem if this guy didn't resist break. Every, so, didn't have such a high resistance to break. I 
just hate this, how there's resist how these enemies have such a high resistance to break and then have counter fights. It's just extremely unfair. So I'm forced to spam a purge here. I'm gonna occasionally heal myself. I should enchant, but I can't. Because I have to purge. I can't spend talent gauge on enchanting. Actually, I think that's probably good at this point. Just because I've built up enough purges. It would help if you didn't have to dodge. Also, get me up! I need to purge now. Gumban needs health. He toppled me. This is ridiculous. I can't get my party member's health because I have to purge him constantly. There's just no good way to do this. I'm going to enchant now just to get them back. Doing stuff. Actually, use battle for. Purge. How many enemies got involved here? What the heck? Also, I definitely purged you. Like, when did all these enemies appear? Come on, purge work. Thanks for healing, Ricky. You're being helpful. Oh, that's bad. You need to keep the purge going now. And I need to keep my health up, because that's important. This is ridiculous. I'm spending all this time on one enemy. This is just... These guys are... For... This is a quest that we were supposed to do now. So that's why I guess that part. The enchant wore off. That's ridiculous. I have to enchant. Like, I'm sorry, I need my party doing stuff. I can heal temporarily while I get my talent gauge back up. Oh, don't make me use something to counteract that. Please. Oh, we could kill him. Thanks for dying. We get the mini reactor. And now I'm stuck dealing with all these guys. Oh, that spike is Ricky's spike. Dumbass, you need to survive. And now all these guys are easy because they're just normal enemies. Do you need to fight three identical enemies? Do we really? Okay. That was just insane. I don't want to have to deal with these guys anymore. I'm glad that we got that guy over with, but this is going to be a long video because there are others. There are two other enemies that we have to deal with.
into Boar area and Black Wreckage, okay. These are also going to be level 70 something enemies. So yeah, this is probably a difficult quest. Well, no doubt it's a difficult quest. Let's see, do you have spikes? Oh, just a paralysis spike? I can deal with that. Oh yeah, not only for me, I have to do that. This is just going to be keeping people happy. I'm hoping that Enchant doesn't wear off. Maybe I should upgrade a block Enchant, I don't know. Here, Ricky, get up to full health. Enchant Dawn, I'm just gonna finish him off the moment with my own account. There, the transmission bypass is mine. That was not nearly as hard. That was so much easier than the other one. Because he didn't have the freaking spike. I'm telling you, spikes are evil. Like, spikes are the most evil part of this game, probably. Like, spikes are my least favorite mechanic. Definitely. Because there's not even a way to tell if the enemy has a spike or not. It's just like, you hit it and it's like, oh, there is a spike. Yeah, this guy was in digit 4, right? Yep, I'm going to leave the Tolkien lead just in case this guy has a spike that I need to worry about. Don't hold back! Psychics, try hard! Does he? Yes. Damage spikes are really the problem, I think. I don't mind the other spikes, and I really should enchant, but... Yeah, I'll get the enchant off now. Why not? Might as well have them do stuff. I can keep myself alive with health healing until I can... Purging. But basically, I'm just gonna be purging him, and they're going, and my party members are going to be dealing a lot of damage. Now I'm kind of glad I left Peekaboo on, actually, because he's still getting confused. Don't use Stay Sorry. I highly advise against it because it can get rid of. But you might want to heal at some point. Just a call. I mean, I know you have one healing art, but... That was one man. Oh well. Ricky still has... Ricky has the least HP now. Like, just overall. Come on, I have level 9 Purge, and I can't loot Purge. This is ridiculous. We get the assault pump, and now we have to go back to Orchitex. Let's get back there after I switch the party around again. Come on. We're done with this quest. I don't really like it. There are more annoying quests, though. I just don't like 
But that was the last anti-mech on quest. That was the last quest for, which will really ask you to fight any mech on that are challenging enough to warrant using anti-mech on weapons. I'm sorry I forgot about the, that, those ones, but now you really don't need anti-mech on weapons. I still have to change some arts around that I just haven't gotten around to yet. So let's talk to Orkater. Oh. Why didn't you tell me you wanted Shulk? No, I, I changed the party around just to ask him... Just for him to ask me to change it back. Stop it, Orkatix. Fine. Yeah. We're talking about Gunband's enthusiasm. Hmm. Okay, come on. This video is getting kind of long. I think we just end the, ended the quest there. Yeah, we got the rewards. At least four and majority of five. And Dunban. Dunban's enthusiasm skill branch. This is why you wanted to do this. You didn't think we would just have four skill branches, did you? Of course not. We need five. And we have a loving family between... Between Orchidex and Veronica. I will be going around and looking for Affinity Links next episode. And we'll start doing quests in next episode, too. So, I'll see you then.